Hello and welcome. I'm Ryan McDonald here live at Tiburon Studios. Uh, I got a couple friends with me. I've got Tom Getty. How you doing, Tom? And this is Steve Chang. And uh, we're here once again live at Tiburon Studios in Florida. We're going to be checking out Madden NFL 2005, a little NASCAR, a little NCAA. It's going to be awesome. Um, but first, we're going to start off our live webcast here from Florida with a brief tour. I mean, this is the home of Madden. This is the home of NASCAR. This is probably the first time anybody's been in here to see this place, actually, like, as much as we're going to see it today. Isn't that right? We don't do a lot behind the scenes, so it is a, a, a sneak peek. So what would you say to all the fans out there that are kind of anxiously awaiting to see, you know, what the new games look like, as well as, you know, this amazing facility you guys have here where you build them? Well, this is the best year yet, and uh, we hope to uh, please you all this year. Excellent. So we're going to start our tour. I'm going to split off with Tom. And uh, you, you want to go catch up with Rich already, who's waiting down there? No problem. Excellent. All right, I think he's just right down there if you want to. All right, cool. So Rich is waiting down there. We're going to do a kind of a, a two-man little tour of Tiburon Studios. Uh, where should we head off to first? Let's head on over to the NASCAR team. Excellent. So hopefully Steve ran down there fast enough, and he is waiting with Rich. And I think that is the correct case. So Rich, go ahead and take it away while me and Tom get set up. Thanks, Ryan. I'm here with Studio General Manager Steve Chang. Steve, how's it going? Good. How's it going? All right. We're in the Madden section. I got to tell you, folks, it's huge. Steve, what are we looking at right now? Well, this is the uh, Madden 2005 previs pre wall, and this is where it all starts. So after we finish a game, we go immediately into pre-production. We start to design out what we want to improve visually the next year. So we've all got uh, football in our veins, and uh, you can see football all along the walls. We've built the helmets into the environment. Got some great helmets up there like oh the Patriots I see prominently displayed. Very nice, very nice. All right, where are we going from here? We're going to go check out the, uh, the couple of the different areas that uh, make up the facility. Cool. All right. Walking down hallways here. You know what I love about this place are the cubicles. Everyone has the coolest stuff in their cubes ever. I thought my cube was cool, but no. You come in here, there's autographed posters, there's great stuff like John Madden football. Wow. And this is where it all started. This is the first one right here. Awesome. So we'll just w we're going to walk through this little area, which is uh, where the guys come and play some competitive games. What's this we're standing at right here? It looks like a Madden Arcade. That's a top secret. Not anymore. Awesome. And we'll, we'll tell you guys more about that later, I'm sure. All right, moving down this way. So we've got more cubes. This is where marketing sits. Oh, we got another. There's more. More previous stuff. This place. Oh, what's this stuff down here? This looks awesome. Well, this is uh, when you start talking about the super fans from this year's game. This is where they all started. We've got things like the new environments, and you're talking about lighting and, and all the different environmental effects, the light blooms that you'll see in the game, which really added to this year's game. Awesome. Now, night sky design, day sky design. Are these going to be, is this, now this stuff we're looking at here, will this eventually be in like a cutscene or is this just to... You'll have to, you'll have to stay tuned. Oh man. Are the new cheerleaders? Cheerleaders. I talk more about them, but my girlfriend's going to be watching this. All right. She's not going to appreciate that. <laughs> I have one of those. All right. Now, now we're walking through to some of the cool stuff. It's the uh, company store. Company store? We can go here. This will work. So this is where you get your EA gear. Do you guys take credit cards? Of course. A little Mike Vick, NFL Street. You got to get the Madden jacket. Very, very rare. Cool. Not bad. How much for the Bud helmet? <laughs> you get those from Publix. Very cool. All right, moving on. We got so much stuff to see. All right, Tom, we're here at the NASCAR section. Tell me where we're at, what we got going on, what we're going to see. We got a lot of big things going on this year. NASCAR 2005, Chase for the Cup, rebranded, and a new product from the ground up. So as you'll see in all of our areas here, we have a lot of stuff you know, from the NASCAR world. These guys live and breathe their sport, and they put it all in the game. So we really surround them with a lot of memorabilia and stuff from you know the races we've sponsored with the EA Sports 500 and all those things. So those are some of the interesting things you're going to see over here in NASCAR. Oh, well, let's go take a look. We're going to go into the, the NASCAR area. And uh, now, no one's been in here before, right? Uh, I think you may be the first in this actual area. Right on. Now, a little bit later, of course, we're going to be checking out the games up close and personal. Getting you guys a look at, you know, this place is awesome. There's lots of high cubicles, though. 
Lots of high cubes. There's about uh, about 60 guys that work on the NASCAR team. 60 guys. 60 people, and uh, you know that's artists, programmers, producers, all different types, uh, and that doesn't include our test, our QA department either. So we get quite a few people down there, probably uh, like 175 total when we're running at our full steam. Whoa. Now we're gonna get a chance to see those guys a little bit later, right? I believe so. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So. Uh, this is a little quiet over here. It's like later in the evening, I figured these guys would be burning the men out well already. Well, these guys are just a few weeks from beta, so they, they work really, really uh, late, and uh, they're probably out grabbing dinner real quick before they come back for the second shift. Fantastic. What is some of the stuff we're seeing on the wall? This is all concept art? or? Yeah, this is a lot of our uh, previous graphics. So these are things, uh, pieces that we put up early in the process to show the general direction that we're going, whether that's to uh, the team themselves, just to keep that in mind, mm -hmm. or uh, visitors like yourselves, executives, all the people, so we can communicate at any time in the process uh, the direction we're heading. Now, how, you said you're, you're a few weeks from beta, is that right? We're real close to being done. Really? How's it looking so far? It looks fantastic. You know, the game has really been rebuilt from the ground up. It's not just about racing cup cars anymore. There's modifieds and trucks and bush cars and all these different things. You're challenged to, uh, to, to really live the life of a racer and make your own name out in that world. Before we take a look at the game, let's go down here. I saw some tires set up over here. I know I'm a big fan of tires. If you're in NASCAR, you like tires, right? <laughs> so, but I, I, now with some of the memorabilia I've seen around here, you guys got autographed everything here. So. You guys got some autographed tires from you know, some people? Uh, yeah, we do, actually. We, we work with all the drivers in the series, so you know that some of that benefit is having access to them. So we do quite a bit with the drivers. You know, They come in, they play the game, they give us their feedback. We meet them out at tracks for recording sessions and commercial shoots and all those things. So there's, uh, there's some opportunity for autographs, although it's not a really big thing around EA. But <laughs> the memorabilia, the tires, the helmets, all that stuff is, uh, is good collectibles. You know a, a real good spot that somebody got like a real extra, extra special cool cube that's got all kinds of fun now? NASCAR stuff for us to look at? Yeah, actually, Scott Stutzman, the, uh, the producer of the product, has got some fun stuff for me in his office. Let's oh, check it out. <laughs> he doesn't know we're coming, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what's up, Scott? This is GameSpot Live. <laughs> There's the, uh, the snack area. Like I said, we're close to beta, so we're here all night long, every night. That's some good snacks. So they want to check out your memorabilia. Oh, we got some DJ <laughs> shoes. We got all kinds of stuff. What's up, Scott? Scott Stutzman. How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you too. This is the uh, lead producer on the product and uh, is, is running hard, like I said, as we're close to final in here. But let's jump in and check out your uh, memorabilia. All kinds of stuff. History flags, I grabbed that one before they quit selling it. Uh, you know, just, just different things that have gone on, you know, going to the Petty Experience, uh, pictures when uh, some of the drivers have visited the studio. It's uh, You amass a lot, of, uh, a lot of stuff in how many years have you been doing NASCAR games? Since 98. So, you know, you collect your cars or your favorite drivers and cool paint schemes. Whose shoes are up there? Got Dale Jarrett's shoes up here. Let's see, let's get a close look at that. You didn't know NASCAR guys had shoe deals, did you? <laughs> That's awesome. He hasn't raced with these, though. Oh, yeah. That's okay. You got the Jeff Gordon little hat up there? Oh, yeah. Signed. That's some of the privileges that you have when you get to meet the guys they sign stuff for you so it's it's kind of cool so it's kind of like every nascar's dream huh it's just oh, yeah. like yeah yeah it's definitely exciting i mean there's a lot of things that go on and there's a lot of things that are tied to the sport you know different sports footballs you got your jerseys that you wear you got you know collect the helmets uh but going to the going to the tracks and just being able to you know integrate with what they do and then also take that and integrate that into the game with you know the different things that we're doing this year so it's it's definitely exciting to be a part of the sport. Fantastic. You're, you're going to be the one that's showing us the game a little bit later, right? Yeah. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and toss it back. I think Rich is ready. Uh, stand by. I'm not sure exactly where he's at. But uh, thanks again, Scott. And we'll catch up with you in a little bit and check out the game. Good seeing you again. So, so these are the booths. It was like, so like John Madden himself would be sitting right over there recording the audio for this? We've had uh, Dante in there. Nice. Mike Vick. Very cool. Moving on, we're going to go walk through video. So all those cool videos you see in the game, that's what, this is where they're all created. They all do them right down here? Yeah. We've got Kelly Austin. Hello, Kelly. Hi, guys. Video there. What's Kelly doing right now? Well, we're trying to load up some cameos. Ah, very cool. We'll come back and check out how much longer you need for us to stall right, for. A couple minutes. couple minutes. All right, we'll be back. Yep. Great. Thanks, Kelly. Okay. Yeah, we're walking in through the machine room. This is, uh, this, all the video rooms are connected. 
This is where all the decks are, and this is how we get all the video into the, into the actual rooms. Very cool. So no one's probably seen this before, as Ryan yeah. said earlier. This is brand new. This is the first time anybody's been in here filming. I just touched that screen on camera for the first time ever. And this thing. And this thing. All right. <laughs> now we're walking in here. We got George, Jorge. Hey, hey George. And we got Jeff Aho. Uh, hey, Jeff. All right. Nice to, nice to meet you. What are you guys doing right now? Uh, we're just capturing video for uh, some web releases we have going on and for our new game, NCAA, coming out. Very cool. I think Ryan's going to have something for us that, about that in just a, a little bit. Is that Necessary Roughness I see over there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Necessary Roughness. Great movie. Yeah. Very cool. All right, you guys keep up the good work. Nice Thank meeting you. Much. Thank you. Got to watch, watch football, live in the football environment, and do the whole thing. All right, so here's the uh, heart of the video system. We've got uh, a DSS up on the roof, total package running, eight DSS dishes. We record everything digitally. And, uh, and we use it all for reference. So when we put the stuff in the game, it's because it comes from, uh, from off of live footage. So come Saturday and Sunday, there's really nowhere else to be than Tiburon Studios, is what you're saying. That's right. We record all NCAA football games, uh, uh, NFL and NASCAR. I think we'll be back here real soon, <laughs> once the season starts up. All right. So we have, I think you, you said one last stop on this tour? One last stop. All Let's right, do cool. it. So this is where it all kind of ends. It's in the arcade. Awesome. What we got in here? We got a variety of classic and, and current games, pinball. We've got a Miss Pac-Man cocktail, Space Duel, Donkey Kong machine. We've got our PGA Golf arcade machine. So when you guys aren't watching football, you're in here playing all these great games. That's right. You've got to stay creative. Very cool. Very cool. Thanks a lot, Steve. All right. Thank you. All right. We're going to go over to Ryan right now. He's hanging out with Tom again at NCAA football. Thanks, Rich. All right, I'm here with Tom again, and this time we're in the NCAA area. Why don't you go ahead and tell us uh, what we got going on here, and this place is definitely cool. This is uh, 40 guys that live and breathe college football every day of the year. So they just finished the product, so they're catching up on sleep. Everybody went home a little bit early today, but uh, we're going to take, th take you through and show you a little bit about their digs before we get into the gameplay a little later. Excellent. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a walk this way. Come on. I'll show you off the... Uh, now, the flags are awesome. I'm a big fan of all the fun collegiate flags they got around here. Yeah, you know, Tiburon's got guys from all over the country, too. So uh, you see the Northwesterners represented here with the Huskies and Beavers. Uh, but everybody's showing their school pride all throughout. College football season here is, is so fun because everybody gets together for the games. We have a great time going back and forth. But this year's game, as you know, is all about home field advantage. So let's check out a little bit of what's going on in the stadiums this year down here at the Previs board. Excellent. As we walk through, I'll point out a few things. So like, for those of you who don't know, the, the Tiburon thing, you keep on seeing these sharks around here. Tiburon is Spanish. It's Spanish for shark, so that's a little pro tip for you. <laughs> and the shark balloons you actually get on your birthday. Oh. That's so everybody knows that it's your birthday. So he probably had a birthday within the last week looking at the uh, inflation level of the shark there. That's awesome. <laughs> This is the stadiums you're talking about. Yeah, so here's the, uh, here's the stadium previs. So this is how we start the production, um, uh, the production process is we'll take some of the stadiums and, uh, and dress up the art the way that we expect the stadiums to look final in game so that we can take people through at any time, show them what their direction we're heading. So here we see uh, quite a few of the different Hus Husky Stadium, a few different rounds, uh, a few different angles of it. But uh, this is always a good checkpoint to stop by um, early in the cycle before they really start to get in the game. So then, uh, of course, on, on every tour, we always stop at the previs. Boards. Right. One question. I'm oh, sorry. One question I have for you is, uh, how much work are we looking at? I know it's like easy for us to get home and play the games, but I mean, you're talking about 40 guys living, breathing college football for how long and how many hours? Like, it's, it's a tremendous amount of work, right? It's a, it really is an incredible amount of work. It's uh, you know these guys work around the clock towards the end of the cycle, but the cycle itself is typically 14 months, maybe a little bit longer than that from beginning to end. So. The guys are already done, actually, on the 2005 product. It's off being replicated and, and heading out to stores. But, um, uh, but we're already working on two, 2006 product, oh, wow. the early previs. So we are starting to just start this process. This is 2005 held over, but this process is just beginning. The guys are working on the art to, to really figure out what 2006 is going to look like wow. already. That's, that's a lot of work, and it, I can't believe it's just constant cycle. It's incredible. You know, these guys are here all hours of the day and night, and uh, like I said, 40 guys that just do nothing but 
program college football. <laughs> now, there's one spot we're going to go check up up here. here. I think uh, we're looking for a producer that's going to be showing us a game later, right? Yeah, we're going to stop by and visit Rod here in his, in his cube before he, uh, before he gives you the live demo. Excellent. In his roll tide decked out cube. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, guys? Pretty good. How you doing, Rod? Hey, nice to meet you. It's good to see you. Um, so you're going to be showing us a little bit of the game later, right? We will be showing you a little bit of the game. A little live demo action. You're not nervous, though, are you? Uh, no. <laughs> Now, now, the one question I have for you before we, we go back to, to the QA session where I think Rich is already waiting for us, he's already set up, um, what, what, what are you most excited to show the people for the first time tonight? Oh, home field advantage, right? Home field advantage is what NCAA 2005 is all about, right? Going in, getting the crowd out of it, that's what you want to do in NCAA. Fantastic. And we'll hear all about that in a little bit. Uh, I think Rich is standing by in the QA session, so we're going to go over there and take a look at these games. So take it away, Rich. All right, thanks, Ryan. We're here on our final stop of the tour of the studio, and Steve, that is? We're in QA, and our celebrity head of QA is Eric Zala. Celebrity head of QA, Eric. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now, before we talk about your celebrity status, what's going on in the room behind us? Well, basically, we got about uh, 170 hardworking individuals, hardcore gamers, playing and testing the games for EA Sports, make sure that they are high quality and free bugs. That's cool. And how many games are there? 170 people. 170 people. Basically, we've got games out for uh, NCAA football, NASCAR, uh, a little game called Madden. Uh, all of these available on as many as six different platforms from PlayStation 2, Xbox, GameCube, PC, PlayStation 1, Game Boy Advance, etc., etc. So there's a whole lot of testing going on. Very cool. And we're about to go meet all of them. But before we do, I'm noticing a picture. This looks like you right here, and this looks like Steven Spielberg. What's going on with that? Well, basically, uh, Back when we were kids, a couple of friends of mine and I did a shot-for-shot -shot remake of Raiders of the Lost Ark using teenage actors. And uh, actually only last year, 15 years later, uh, a copy fell into the hands of Mr. Spielberg, who was nice enough to send us a very kind letter uh, over there uh, and also spend some time with us. And uh, this has led to uh, Hollywood producer Scott Rudin buying our life rights. And apparently Paramount Pictures is going to release a major motion picture of uh, these three crazy Mississippi kids who did this uh, weird project. So they bought your life rights. That sounds kind of creepy, yet cool at the same time. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm hopefully uh, it doesn't mean that I've sold my soul to uh, Hollywood or anything. That's awesome. I look forward to seeing it. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right, Steve, now let's move on to why we're really here. Bye, Eric. Thank you. All right. I know we're starting things off right because I see a Red Sox hat. <laughs> All right, so right here, this is the QA room. What's going on over on this side? So this is QA, and um, this is where the, the testers enter their bugs. And as we walk over here, we're testing NASCAR actively. NCA is already done. So these are all the troopers right here, and I know this because I've actually spent some time. I spent six months as a tester over at THQ, and this doesn't look anywhere. I, I didn't have this much fun when I worked, but how's everyone doing? Hey. Say hi to GameSpot Live. You're live on camera right now. Very cool. So that's NASCAR. This is awesome. Looks good, doesn't it? What are these lockers here for? These lockers are for security, so basically uh, when, when testers take off for lunch, they, they put their builds in a, in a, in a locker. Cool, they didn't trust us either where I worked, but... <laughs> cool. Some builds on the wall, more lockers. PS2 is approved, congratulations team. That's right. Going on down this way. Now we're in the Madden area. The Madden area, this is where it all gets done, definitely, That's right, right here. This is the hardest of the hardcore, these guys can kick your butt any day. So the question I have for the room is, who is the best person in this room at Madden? One, two. Come on, everyone should have a hand up right now. You don't play this game unless you think you're the best one at this game. <laughs> ooh, ooh. All right, very cool. Nice. Well, you keep up the good work, guys. What's going on down this way? Now we've got the final stop. The final stop's in here. A little quieter in here, I noticed. That's right. This is our compatibility lab. And this is uh, where we make sure our PC products run. We've got video board after video board, computer, processors, all the different varieties. So basically you have to try every single one of these video cards on these machines with the game to make sure it works? That's right. Nine, Very eight, cool. Seven, all right, looks like we've reached six, the end of the building. Four, Ryan, are you getting ready? Two, I think Ryan's ready, one, back, sitting down right now, and we're going to get... Um,
course, is our good friend Scott. Scott. Uh, before we jump into the NASCAR action now, I want to check in with our good friend Daniel, who happens to be one of the baddest Madden 2004 players here at Tiburon. So if you have any idea of what that means, you know, the idea is, you know, here we are, the home of Madden, Tiburon, and, uh, you know, their best player, of course, is going to be one of the best players out there. So for those of you at home watching, if you want to get a chance to play one of the best here at Tiburon and test your skills, go ahead and jump into Madden Online. We've got Rich with the information that you need to find the lobby and the place where Daniel is so he can totally tear you up. So, Rich, take it away. All right, thanks, Ryan. I'm over here. With my man, Daniel. Daniel, you're sitting in a game room uh, in a lobby. What's it called? I'm in a GameSpot room. It's a created room on the Madden server. Waiting right now. The password is challenge. Basically, what's going to happen, you come, you log on, hop in. Daniel's name is EA Ace. Take him on. You'll lose. I'll make fun of you. It's going to be a good time. <laughs> Ryan, back over to you. Excellent. Thanks, Rich. So here we are, Scott. You are, of course, the producer of NASCAR. Yes, sir. And you've been doing that for quite some time, as we saw from your office earlier. Yeah, I've been doing it since 98, so oh. it's, uh, it's, it's been an exciting time. That's, that's, uh, that's, this one looks by far and away to be the best one. It looks I'm, like you guys put a lot of stuff into it. I'm super excited this year. Uh, I mean, you've got, you've got a new sponsor for the sport. Uh, you've got a new playoff structure. Obviously, you've got a new game, and I think this year we've really taken it to a level where it, 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 it really is going to be different for the users. Uh, the overall experience, you've got, you've got uh, you know, you jump into the game, you're immediately racing in, in something different that they haven't seen before. You've got Vipers out on the track uh, uh, racing uh, against, you got Ryan Newman that the player challenges each other. And the reason that you're doing that is it's just, it, it, it's leading you into the whole game and, and the whole process, the whole fight to the top mode where you jump in, uh, Ryan Newman pulls up to the light, challenges you in, in, in Vipers, you beat him, his agent gives you a call, and, and you're off and, and starting the story. The, the one question I have for you before we go any further, what is the whole, you guys dropped the Thunder name, of course, so now it's, you know, the chase for the, the chase for the cup. That's all about getting toward the playoff stuff at the end of the Absolutely. season. Absolutely. I mean, this year is a big year again for NASCAR, and it's a big year for us. Uh, we, we've, you know, really partnered with NASCAR. They've come up with this playoff system that they call Chase for the Nextel Cup, and we've tied that the whole game element. Uh, not only is it, you know, it's a playoff system where they run the last 10 races where you've got 10 guys battling it out. Everybody knows how exciting it is in all the sports to, to be in the playoffs and they're following their favorite drivers, they're following their favorite teams and, and that's what NASCAR is doing this year. They're, they're creating the playoff system but we took a step back and we said, well, wait a minute here, you know, not only do these guys battle in these 10 races, they've been battling for upwards of 10 years to get to this situation. So that's how you lead into the fight to the top mode where you'll start off in the lower series and you'll battle up through four different series to eventually be racing for the next L Cup. That's awesome. The uh, looks like you guys got something queued up here. What are we going to take a look at? Uh, Tom's going to take you into the uh, the fight to the top mode. Uh, you'll see here. As just, and just to reiterate, the folks at home, this is of course a live demo. We're sitting here. Yeah. So you go in, you create you create the guy that you want to that you want to be, and this is the guy that'll take you through your whole story. Right on. Now, some of the stuff I saw earlier in the day when we, were, when we were looking at some of the stuff, it's like, oh yeah, this stuff. Yeah, so right away you go in and, and Ryan Newman's agent's giving you a call and he says, hey, we're signing you up to a contract. Uh, the first series that you'll be racing in is uh, the Modified Series. These cars are, 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 are just very unique. They, and, and what we've done in this game is, again, we've, we've tried to take it on a progressive level so that you, if you're a good race car driver, you'll be successful right out of the box, where in the past you've, you, you've had to work your way up from the back of the pack in the Nextel Series. Here, if you're good, you've got a nice car that you can drive, you work your way up, you'll get recognized, you'll be offered contracts and, and take you up through the different series. That's awesome. Now, before some of these people are, are GameSpot Complete members, thanks again, we, we've been getting questions in all day, of course. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shoot some of these off your way, if you don't Far mind. Away. Uh, this one comes from Chris Beasley, Little, uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, in NASCAR Thunder 2005, oh, see, he, he's got to know the NASCAR Chase for the Cup 2005 is name, but either way, in NASCAR, uh, NASCAR 2005, will the other drivers get mad at you as they did in the 2004 version? Absolutely. I mean, last year, that, that, that without a doubt was our, our big feature, the grudges and alliances, and uh, it got a huge reception. They thought it was neat that you'd go out there and before you just bang your way to get to the, get to the, the, the front of the pack, and now if you bang your way up there, 
they're going to get angry with you. So we've done this year. We've we've included that. We've balanced it a little better so that you know it, it, it really takes a good strategy. And we've also added the intimidator mode on here. It's like an actual meter. That yeah, shows you've got a little meter down at the bottom that. Uh, you share the you, you sh as you get in the draft. You can share and draft and work your way up to the front with a guy, or you can take on a different element. Instead of banging him around, you'll see your meter at the bottom fill up, and you can intimidate him. It'll get his car all squirrely, yeah. and then that that's a better way of passing him. That's so awesome. that's pretty exciting. That's yeah, pretty good. Um, we're gonna go another one here. This comes from Howard in here right in Orlando, Florida. Uh, I guess we're actually in Maitland, all right? Yeah. Uh, this one. What drivers will be in this year's game? Oh God. Every year we include the top drivers, so uh, we've got you know Jeff Gordon, Ryan Newman, uh, Jimmy Johnson, uh, the champion Matt Kenseth, of course Dale Earnhardt Jr., which is pretty much half the people in the in the country root for him. Uh, so all the pro popular drivers, we've got uh, 36 drivers in the game. So any surprises in the, in the lineup? Uh, surprises? Uh, I don't know if I'd consider a surprise, but we've got the hottest rookie in the sport with uh, Casey Kane. Uh -huh. uh, we've signed him this year, so. Uh, he, he's even excited about the game too. He's excited to be involved with it. So I, I think this is one of the few games that, that is a sport that people could not like, but the game will actually make you want to watch NASCAR. I know for me, you know, three years ago when I was playing NASCAR games, I didn't like the sport, and then I, as I started playing more and more of the games, I got more and more into it, and then pretty soon I found myself watching. Yeah, I mean, each year you know, we try to we try to do those different things. That, you know, what excites you know everybody out there? We we listen to the feedback and say, you know, what is it that you would want to see in a game, and still maintain what the the element of NASCAR is all about. And I think the series thing is is a natural progression level, and and again, it's accessible. These modifieds, although you know they look a little weird. They're an absolute blast to drive. So, right. uh, Let's go ahead and take a look. This comes from Mark from Roseville, California. How many tracks are going to be in this year's game, and where are they? We've got uh, 38 tracks this year. We've, we've done a mixture of things. Uh, with the new series added, uh, the Bush and the Truck Series, uh, we've, we've gone in and, and taken a couple of those tracks to kind of maintain the authenticity. And then for the Modifieds, because they run at a lot of the different short tracks, we've gone in and created... Uh, tracks that kind of cater to the racing that those are required. So we did, you know, three special tracks just for those. But you'll be able to take the other cars and run with them on. We've done, a, you know, a couple new fantasy tracks. We've got to take you through uh, the streets of Chicago. Um, we've taken you through the streets around the actual Daytona Speedway where you see all the fans gathering. So there's a lot of different exciting things that we're doing this year. That's awesome. Um, this one comes from Ed in New York. What changes are you making to the racing model? Um, I think the biggest thing that, you know, again, it, it, it's not easy being a race car driver and uh, a lot of the things that we've realized, and again, we've taken feedback, we've done months of play testing to make sure that anybody that comes in and picks up this game will be able to enjoy it. And I think that's one of the things that, that, that we've uncovered this year is we've made it more accessible so that, you know, you can go in and, and just worry about racing and not worried about, you know, spinning out your car or getting into a turn too hot. So we've scaled it up so that anybody can go in and play this game. That's awesome. Um, this comes from Dan in Michigan. Who is doing commentary for this year's game? Who's doing commentary? Uh, there's another thing that we've changed this year. We've, we've got a new spotter, a new crew chief, and then we've gone in in the actual TV element. Uh, w what we were looking for is, is somebody that can kind of set up the stage and not get a situation where you were just, uh, you know, okay, I've heard all this before and you're buttoned through it. So we went out and we signed to Bill Weber, uh -huh. uh, the guy that does the intros for uh, NBC, who has a lot of pizzazz mm -hmm. and, and kind of really sets up the track and sets up the emotion of what's about to happen. So we're pretty excited about Bill joining the team. That's awesome. You guys already record all the audio with Bill Weber? Yeah. We spent uh, three, three and a half days just sitting and, and recording intros for all the different tracks and plus, you know, some other things that will help the fans get through the game. He'll, he'll teach them different elements on playing the game. That's awesome. Uh, we're going to go and take one more. This is Fabrizio in Ontario, Canada. What's going on in this year's online mode? Uh, this is uh, definitely an exciting thing for us. Uh, as everybody has heard, uh, we've uh, finally uh, decided to support Xbox Live. Uh, so for both PS2 and Xbox, we'll, we'll be online with four players. On t you can race against three other players and you know, full fields of AI. Uh, so you still have the, the, the whole competition thing going on, but uh, we've expanded that and we think people will be excited to be able to take that 
and and just really enjoy the online element. That's awesome. Now, between the PS2 and the Xbox Live stuff, is there going to be any differences? Or? Uh, it'll be the same functionality, uh, the same same driving, uh, same stats that'll be tracked. Um, again, but you know, the exciting thing is, I think you know, Xbox was was made to go online, and with the broadband connections, it's very important for racing. Uh, so I think it's it, it's really going to be you know really you know boost up the the enjoyment factor of the game. Excellent. Uh, I think we're going to check on some time. I think it's time to check in with our good man Rich Gallup and Daniel, who looks to be in a game. Go ahead, Rich. Give us an update. Thanks, Ryan. All right, Daniel. Now, I'm looking at the scoreboard. I'm seeing an awful lot of goose eggs. What's going on? Hey, well, the game just started, but this guy looks like he's pretty tough. But we're in a good one right here, so we'll have to see how it goes. He's got the Eagles. I've got the Giants. He's got McNabb working with some mobility. He seems to have forgotten the fact that although the Eagles have a wonderful quarterback, they kind of lack wide receivers. Saw so him going over the middle right there. I was trying to get hooked up with James Thrash. Not the best player ever to wear an Eagles jersey with number 80 on it. I'd have to give that to Urban Fryer personally. Who are you rocking, the Giants? Yeah, I got the Giants, so I got some pretty good receivers. I got Shockey out there trying to get big. That's cool. Now, I got a question for you. Uh, should we call out the name of this guy? Who, who are you playing right now? Um, I believe his name is DJ. I didn't get the full name, but DJ. It's like DJ Gamer 83752 or something like that. Something like that, yeah. That's cool. All right, Ryan, how are you living over there? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, you ready, ready, to, ready to head on back with some NCAA football? Yes, I am. All right, cool. All right, Daniel, how thanks a lot. How about you score some points for us before this goes? All right, cool. We'll be back in a second. Ryan, all the way over to you. Excellent. Thank you, Rich. Uh, so here we are. We're going to take a look at NCAA football. Thank you once again to Scott, who was helping us out with the, the NASCAR action over there. And uh, here I am sitting with, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? My name's Rod Moy. And uh, Rod, you are the producer? Producer, associate producer on uh, NCAA Football 2005. Excellent. Now you've done, uh, I've talked to you before about doing other games before, right? Oh yeah, I worked on uh, Madden for a very long time. Worked on the PC version of that. Uh, had a lot of good memories about that game, but uh, was very, very excited to come over to college football because that's really, um, really something that I'm very interested in is college football. I mean, I think uh, most people who, especially in the South, are very uh, excited about college football. All right. Yeah, I mean, actually today, you know, when we, we were earlier, we were walking through the uh, the cubicles in, in the NCAA section. You know, it was funny because, like, you know, not, not to say anything bad about the Madden guys, of course, or, or anybody else, but there was certainly a lot more banners and a lot more stuff that I saw. Oh, yeah. I mean, it looks like those guys were totally off the oh, wall. Yeah, yeah, we're all fanatics, man. I mean, that's what makes college football college football, right? Are the fans and, uh, um, you know, just the excitement of the game. All right. Uh, the, uh, yeah, I, I just realized something. Like, I guess I uh, forgot one little thing, but we're, we're checking out the game here. And who's driving for us over there? This is Tom over here, and we got Mel on there on the other side. How's it going? Um, they're going to be playing a game behind us, trying to uh, demo some of the features that we've added this year. Fantastic. I just want to make sure before I go any further with the NCAA action, we, uh, that was the one thing I forgot to do, huh? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So the one thing I forgot to do, and of course this is live stuff, so just to prove it, um, there, there's a little switcher thing that we have to do, and so my good my good friend Rich Gallup is going to do for me right now, because uh, right now if you've been noticed while we're talking about the NCAA football, uh, you haven't seen any direct feed of it yet, and the reason was because I forgot to switch. It. I was supposed to do a little switch in action real quick, but he's going to hook that up for us. Um, while he does that, why don't you go ahead and tell us what's NCAA football all about this year? Yeah, so each year at the beginning of this cycle, we always talk about what we want in a game, um, what is important, what, uh, what is the sport all about. And uh, this year when we sat down, we talked about what the differentiation was between Madden and NCAA, and it was definitely home field advantage. Home field advantage is huge in college sports. Um, there's a couple of reasons for that. Number one, the fans. Fans are huge, right, right in, in college football. Um, a lot of different reasons for that. Um, but also the stadiums. The stadiums are bigger. Um, they seat a lot more people. Um, and just the, you know, just the youth on the field, composure on the field, you know. How do players get rattled? Right. You know, do they, you know, you got that freshman who comes in, not very composed. So the things on the field, the crowd, things like that are going to affect him. You get that fifth year senior, you know he's composed. But, uh, you know, he's, he's going to be the guy that goes out there and throws that game-winning touchdown for you. So you got to really identify your players on the field and uh, not let the crowd get them. For sure. I got gotcha. The uh, The one question I do have for you beyond that is, now, one thing you guys cram into college football every single year is more and more atmosphere. You guys do it with the fight songs, you guys do it with all kinds of stuff. What do you guys do this year that's really going to take it over the top? Um, one of the big things that, uh, that makes, obviously, home field advantage is the crowd. So we worked real hard on the audio. 
and uh, a visible representation of the audio is the, uh, the stadium pulse. Um, stadium pulse gives you the, uh, the vibe of the stadium, how rocking is the stadium, how loud is it. Now the louder that the, uh, the stadium gets, the more maxed out that stadium pulse will get and uh, that's when players start making mistakes. Those freshmen that I was telling you about, mm -hmm. the ones that have those lower composure ratings, those guys are gonna start making mistakes, their, their composure is gonna go down, their overall ratings will go down. So we have this dynamic player rating in the game, which, you know, the ebb and flow of the game depends on, you know, whether or not the players are, are actually performing well, is the crowd getting to them? So, I mean, we just basically try to take the crowd and make it a real big factor inside the game this year. Right on. Now, one of, the, one of the things, of course, everybody loves about the, the stuff, the, the sports games nowadays, of course, like we saw with NASCAR, the online mode. What are you guys doing there? Online, wow. Online is, uh, online is big. I mean, one of the things we thought uh, on NCAA that, uh, that was a little bit uh, unfair was, uh, you know, there's a big discrepancy between teams. The best teams, you say, the Texases, you know, the, uh, the, um, the, the Miami Hurricanes, you know, teams like that are very good in real life. And we have to, you know, we have to make them well, or make them play, perform well in, uh, in the game. Mm -hmm. Well. One of the problems with that is that everybody wants a chance to win online, right? Oh. And so everybody's going to play with the, you know, with the good teams. So what we did is we, keep, we created this thing called even teams. And so basically you can go in and it basically takes two teams no matter who it is. So if you want to play with Duke against Florida State, you now have the opportunity. Because what it does is when you're going in game, it takes those ratings of both the teams and kind of squeezes them into I a little you. area. So I have an equal chance to win. So now you don't have to go in and play with like three teams online. Now you can play with your favorite team. That's cool. Yeah. That's totally cool. Uh, we got some questions from people. Okay. Uh, this comes from Jason, Honolulu, Hawaii. To what extent did the NCAA football and Madden groups work together in developing new aspects for either or both games? And why are some things in Madden, i.e., uh, I guess that's kicking ratings, uh, mini camps not implemented in NCAA football? Well, it, there, we, we do a lot of uh, co-op stuff. I mean, the teams are always communicating, but there is, there is a certain amount of uh, we want to be different. You know, the two products don't need to be the same because, honestly, the two sports aren't the same. I mean, we are playing football, but that's, that's really the extent of it. I mean, there's differences between pro college and pro, and that's what we try to get, bring to NCAA is how is it different, you know, and that's what we did with the home field advantage this year. Um, what was the other part of the question? Uh, the other part was like, how come you don't see any mini camp modes or anything? Uh, well, I mean, that all kind of goes into it too, which is, you know, I mean, we want to be different. We don't want to just steal from Madden. We want to create something in college that really says, hey, we're a college. You know, so we try to invent our own ideas. We don't try to borrow from Madden, you know, at least feature-wise. I mean, if you're talking gameplay, we try to, you know, share amongst the group. So if we're redoing blocking or if we're doing pass, you know, passing or anything like that, we always try to communicate between the groups because uh, we want to maximize our resources during the year. Excellent. The, uh, I'm just going to keep on going. These guys got some pretty good questions. Sure. This comes from Ellen Leica from Minnesota. How far away do you think online franchise or dynasty modes are in NCAA football or Madden NFL? <laughs> Online franchise. Um, we actually uh, tried that uh, a couple years ago on uh, Madden, on Madden PC, what I used to work on. Um, there's there's a there's a couple problems that you know we haven't been able to solve yet. Um, and one of those is the big communication thing. You know, it's uh, when you get people together who don't know each other, they tend not to really show up, right? There's no real vested interest there. So, you know, I'm out in California, you're in Florida, when can we get up to play our game? And so the leagues tend to kind of fall apart. With that said, though, we are looking you know, always for things, how we can get that going again. So, I mean, it is something that we'll try and continue to try to do in the future. All right. There's a second part of that question. is uh, multiple seasons with my friends and I'll be from free agents. Or, yeah, so basically it's just more than just kind of, it's actually not a second part of the question. It's more just a second wish of the question, which is I want to play multiple seasons with my friends and outbid them for free agents and top recruits. So, sure, anything is and, possible uh, in the future. I mean, so, and if we do it, you know it's going to be good. Right on. Uh, this comes from Jamal in Fairfield, California. What new features are you adding to differentiate NCAA from Madden? Um, features. Well, create a sign. One of the cool things about, uh, about this year is that uh, obviously home field advantage. If you went, you're playing inside your home field stadium, create a sign. You can create signs for uh, for certain. You know, say say if you get a first down, a touchdown. The 3D fans or 3D model fans will actually hold them up. Um, the crowd really gets to the players. We have dynamic player ratings during the game, which means the player ratings actually change. You know, um, we have. Um, um, the crowd really affects uh, um, the players on the field. So if the crowd gets really loud, players will actually miss audibles, things like that. That's from a gameplay standpoint. That's like the rookie stuff you're talking about. Yeah, you. exactly. Um, from a feature standpoint, we added some really cool things to Dynasty Mode this year. Um, one of them being this thing that we call program integrity. And really what program integrity is, is I have players on my team, right? 
And these players have the potential to get into trouble, whether that be academic trouble or whether that be team rule trouble. So, and as these players get into trouble, you have these discipline points, just like you have recruiting points in the past. And so now, during the season, you have to budget these points. You have a certain amount of discipline points that you can use to correct players who are getting into trouble, right? So we have a screen inside the game, and I don't know if you can see it right here, but it's a take action screen. And uh, basically, this player's gotten into trouble, and uh, we're going to suspend him for, I don't know, a game. Uh, for six games, right? And so, basically, your whole the whole deal is to keep the NCAA off of your back, um, because at the end of the season, if there's too much NCAA interest, they'll come knocking at your door. Really? Scholarships reductions, no bowl games, no TV games, <laughs> and eventually the death penalty. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it's good. That's good stuff. Good stuff. The uh, let's go. Do I still got time for more? One more? Oh, we got one more. This comes from Mitchell Lubin from San Diego. How many teams will be available in, in, well, that's the easy one. How many teams will be available in NCAA football? Ah, uh, lots, 120 <laughs> plus, I mean, lots of teams. Uh, lots of teams. Actually, this, is that one. This, this comes from Steve Kaur in uh, Morgantown, West Virginia. West Virginia's new stadium suite, is West Virginia, uh, is, uh, I'm sorry, are West Virginia's new stadium suites in NCAA 2005? Yes, yes, we updated the stadium for West Virginia. And not only just West Virginia, but I mean, we went through and we redid a lot of the stadiums. So, I mean, you'll see the stadiums that are looking better this year. Um, we got a lot of the uh, the lighting changed on the game, and, uh, and and with that in mind, I mean the game actually looks better this year too. I mean the different times of days, you'll really notice that the game looks different. So if you're playing a night game, it's going to look different than say if you're playing a noon game. Really? So yeah. So I mean we always spend a lot of time on the visuals. Well, excellent. I think we're out of time here. We're going to check in with my man Rich Gallup, who's of course over there with Daniel and uh, playing you guys at 2004. So go ahead, take it away, Rich. Thank Daniel, you so Daniel, Daniel, who just dropped that ball? Amani Tumor. Fourth or fifth drop he's had. See, that's not good because I'm looking up the score right now and I'm seeing 14 for Philadelphia, six for the New York Giants. Hey, you know something? It's a wet game. I guess this guy I'm playing is just a warrior. He seems to shine in the bad weather conditions because my guys are dropping. Our man DJ 8-3. So you got five seconds left in the half and you're and you're punting it. I have to, man. Five seconds left. No, no last minute hail mary. No, I'm down right now. I get the ball at half. I still like my chances. I, I have to say, I like your chances too because the only way I'm going to have any fun out of this is if you win. So, I mean, you losing right now, the, the kids, everyone who knows me from button mashing is expecting me to come over here and start making fun of the person who's losing. Unfortunately, that's you and you're supposed to be my ace right now. I'm the one, I'm backing you, you know? I'm like the guy that shows up to the poker game with the money and gives it to the young kid expecting him to win it all for me, you know, return on my investment. Right now, you're not returning on my investment. Hey, you know something? I won't let you down, man. All right, cool. Let's check some stats here. Uh, see, that right there, if it's a wet game, you only have one rushing yard. Uh, like a high school announcer could tell you that if it's wet, you should be slogging it out right now, you know, giving it to our, our man, what's his name? Uh, Tiki. Yeah. See, but the problem with Tiki is in the rain, mm, that might not be the best way to go, to tell you the truth. Who's that other stiff they had? Oh, Ron Dane. Is he still around? He's around. He's all right. Don't give it to him. You might be losing. It might be, you know, wet conditions that you're supposed to be, like, running through. Don't give the ball around Dane. All right. I appreciate the advice. Well, I'm going to keep giving it to you because we're still setting up for some bats. See, now that's not bad. Playing the averages. He's dropped five, but, you know, he's your go-to. You go right back to him. For all the drops, I think we're about to see some big catches, so stay tuned. I'm, I'm staying tuned. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still watching. All right, so we got Kerry Collins calling the hot route. We're looking at first and 10, mid-30s, 37 or so, fading back. Jeremy Shockey with the locks. He's going to start catching them. See, the problem I have with Jeremy Shockey is undisciplined. Being a Patriots fan, I know the key to winning is good, disciplined football. Jeremy Shockey, undisciplined football. And that's why he fits into my style, because right now I'm playing very undisciplined football. And notice who's losing. All right, this is better. Who is Tyree? Is that your backup tight end? No, he's just like a four-string receiver. Well, it looks like you should be throwing to him more often. Hey, I can play with anybody. Tyree, fifth string, sixth string. <laughs> Can't play with DJ Gamer 85372 right now. Ryan, how you doing? You doing pretty well? That's great. All right, sweet. Looking at second and 10 on the 13-yard line. I like talking here in the game. You know, this is kind of fun. I used to be an announcer in college. But anyways, all right, sweet. We got second and 10. We're going to give you this will be the last player we're going to until we chalk it to Ryan. I want you to score a touchdown. I want nothing less than a touchdown out of this. He dropped it. That was less than a touchdown. Ryan, over to you. Thanks so much, Rich. All right, so we're over here. Last stop of the day. 
And, How you uh, doing, man? Last but not least, pretty good. How you doing? I'm doing well. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to the folks at home? Uh, you've probably seen them a few times before, but. Hi, I'm, I'm Jeremy Strauser. I'm the senior producer on Madden. How you doing, guys? Uh, but yeah, Madden 2005. How awesome is this? It's exciting. It's yeah. exciting. I mean, he's sitting there playing Madden 2004 in the same room. It's great, uh, having a great time. And I'm thinking that's you know that's so old school because I'm ready to play Madden 2005. I know. I was like, <laughs> I couldn't help but look over at this screen, look over that screen. And it's like, how far can you go in a year? It's amazing. It, it's night and day. It really is night and day. You know, the graphics this year, the the features that we've added this year, we're real proud of how it's coming out, and uh, we got to finish this thing off and get it out there. People are waiting. They're clamoring at the bit for it. I know it's, they are. It's we're getting pretty close though, right? We are. And August August 10th is the the day to look for it. It's it's PlayStation. Two, it's PlayStation 2 Collector's Edition this year, oh, wow. and Xbox, GameCube, GBA, all that week, and then PC, PS1 coming later. For the folks at home that don't know about the, the collection, let's touch on that for a second. Sure. Madden uh, PS2, the Collector's Edition this year, is a special thing to celebrate the, uh, the 15th anniversary of Madden, and it's, we had a lot of fun putting it together. We have three classic versions of Madden on there, so you can play uh, old-school 16-bit mode, a, a PlayStation mode with, with kind of the primitive graphics, and a PlayStation 1 mode with, with kind of more advanced graphics, in addition to the main game. Right. So we also have a cool trivia game that has like NFL trivia and Madden and EA Sports trivia and a, a whole new feature uh, for the PS2 game with a Madden moments where you can kind of relive the best moments of the past 15 years of the NFL. So it's awesome. a lot of fun. Plus like there's this whole DVD bonus video content. Oh, wow. So it's it's really a good, uh, you know, any Madden fan is really going to want this collector's edition, I think. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, yeah, I'm a huge Madden fan and it's like... Uh, but but yeah, but we got to check out 2005. Okay. Let's see some action. So I was I was playing over here while the uh, while the guys were getting ready. I got a good hit stick animation. So I didn't want to I didn't want to go on. I wanted to save it and replay and show it to everybody. And and this is a good one here. I'm in, in practice mode with the Ravens. Little pitch play out to Jamal Lewis, and Ray Lewis is gonna gonna crush him with the hit stick. Nice. So the hit stick is our new in-game feature on defense, where you, with the right analog stick, you flick the stick, you deliver the big hit. In this case, it, there's not a turnover, but you can you can uh, force the, the turnovers a lot more and, and really create some uh, emotion and, and things going on on the defensive side of the ball. So let's let's play this through at real speed here. Oh, and he just got destroyed there. He really <laughs> did. I mean, it, it's it's fun to watch this kind of stuff. So it's you know when we put this in. We really didn't know what kind of impact we were going to get, and you see that we're getting really some NFL level, some NFL caliber hits going on in the game. So we're we're pretty proud of how how this stuff turned out so far. And so is some poor guy have to go through that? Is that mocap? Yeah, it is. It's oh. mocap. We had a guy. Uh, we affectionately called him Rudy because I mean he took a beating day after day after day up there, and you know he kept coming back and he kept taking a beating, and we would run him with blinders on, and he take a, uh, a pop and it was great oh it was my. fun it, it, did I is this the story I heard you guys actually like when you said put blinders on you put them in a dark room and put guys in black is that was no that no we literally we literally put blinders on his helmet though so he couldn't oh, see wow. on the side and had him run straight ahead he had no idea where the hit was coming from on the side and you know Damn. bam and they'd, they'd run right into him so okay. we got some good stuff mocap wise that's, that's awesome like the one thing I will warn you about is uh I saw the I saw yeah I saw the questions that came in uh -huh. and I mean it's like a lot of people ask a lot of questions about the other two games but like for Madden 2005 as you might imagine it's just like I mean yeah it's unstoppable Great. and it's still coming so that's wonderful they're gonna get us some questions here in a sec okay um, let's take well, a look at something else though. yeah let's take a look. So the, the other thing I can show you, since we're in practice mode, it, it works out real well, is I can show you what we're doing defensively pre-play. So, you know, coming into Madden 2005, the game was probably tilted a little in the offense's favor. So we want to even this out. We want to make the games more realistic, and we want to make the games more fun to play on the defensive side. So you got the hit stick. That's a great tool to use in the play. Um, but we wanted to give you the strategy elements as well that the offense always had. So right now, I'm, I'm on Ray Lewis here. I can switch to any player on defense. Not, nothing new there, but what I can do is I can change his assignment on the fly. So right now he's man-to-man -man up on, on Jamal Lewis. Using the right analog stick, we can do, do defensive playmaker before the play. If I do down, he's now blitzing. Nice. If I go back up, he's playing a zone. If I go to the right, he's playing a flat zone out there. If I do the left, he's in a quarterback spy. I can do that with every one of my players on the field and change their assignment at the line of scrimmage, which is a great tool to have. Same time, the other thing we can do is individual coverage audibles, which is new for us. So last year you could hit triangle, call coverage audible, and bring everybody back, press everybody up. So this year, I can do individually uh -huh. by receiver. So it's pretty cool. So let's watch the receiver circle here, Johnson. Mm -hmm. So I did coverage audible, circle, down. So he's being pressed now. Okay. Same thing over on the other side in the square. Let's do triangle, circle, up. Because you can see he's backing off. I gotcha. And the other cool thing that we've added this year is you can double team from um, coverage audible. So let's do triangle, circle, right. And that safety, who was in his own coverage before, is now double teaming that receiver over there. And we can double team both sides, actually. That's awesome. So we've got both safeties now doubling up.
So a lot of strategy pre-play that so you can it's, do. So it's kind of the stuff you had a little bit for, for offense last year that you guys are kind of put on the other side of the defense. Right? Absolutely. I mean, kind of all that X's and O's, that chess game that is NFL football, we really wanted to replicate that. And we've got a lot of, a lot of fun stuff on the defensive side of the game. Right on. Now, the, the one thing that I have, to, I have to say is, like, visually, it's like last year, 2004, it's like I thought it was a beautiful game. Don't, you know, but 2005... It's like the shoulder pad stuff. I'm sure you, from E3 you heard it 100,000 times, right? You know, the, it's, it's, I still look at it, and I can't believe it's a PS2 game when, when I'm looking at the PS2 version of Madden because it looks like it's Xbox, it looks like it's a high-end PC, yeah. it looks like it's, you know, next-gen type stuff. And our guys are really pushing the graphics. I mean, close in here on Jamal Lewis, I mean, look at the detail in his arms and his hands, the shoulder pads that you were talking about, look at his face, you know, great stuff here. And this is just in practice mode. When you get into the real stadiums, you get into the environments with, you know, beautiful skies and skies and weather that change during the course of the game and some, some of our new lighting effects, and, and it just looks awesome. I mean, it's really turned out well. Yeah, the, the one thing, I don't know if you guys got a chance to see it in the tour that we did, but the one thing that, that impressed me was there was that one still, and I saw it in the game, but the still really kind of made it stand out in my mind. It's like when we were looking at stuff, there was that one steel and it showed what you think you guys are calling the light bloom or yeah yeah volumetric lighting is what it's called yeah so it's it, yeah i mean if you look at madden 2004 over here madden 2005 here it's night and day and i, I mean it's a bad pun there because it's yeah. night and day lighting is what we're talking about but it's it's the way that those stadium lights light up the crowd light up the player light up the field it's a completely different system for us that's cool and i, I know i know for a fact that some of the some some of the stuff we were talking a little bit earlier about ncaa like create a fan create a sign that kind of stuff is in 2005 so we don't have a create a sign in madden we do have a create a fan in Madden. I don't think they have that in NCAA. So we, oh. we, we bought, we, we, like, like Rod said, we, we leverage technology back and forth, but we do things differently in each game. So we thought it was more important to customize the fan's appearance and, and you know, paint your face and deck it all out. We, we have some hard hats and, and uh, funny hats for, for football you know, fans that you wear at the NFL games. I saw the Raider one. Yeah, it's great yeah. stuff. And you can create, you know, the, the Raider guys, you know, really crazy stuff. You can create anything that's, that you see in an NFL stadium, or you can you create just normal guys, however you want your fans to appear. Um, they have the, the create a sign thing, but it's a little bit different. That's cool. Uh, I think we're just about ready for some questions, so let's go ahead and check them out. We got one from Chad. Um, I'm sorry. I'm totally going to mess your name up. So, But, uh, yeah, it's Chad Montalbon, I guess. Uh, he comes from ha Hammond, Louisiana. Uh -huh. He says, I've been a Madden fan since the beginning, but last year I was introduced to ESPN's football and was very surprised at how much better the gameplay and graphics were compared to EA's product. What have you done to ensure that Madden 2005 does not disappoint and will be superior to ESPN 2005? Wow, I mean, that's, that's a great question, Chad. You know, the, the guys over at ESPN Football, they do a great, a great job. It's a great game. Right. Um, you know, it looks great, and they, they do some nice things. But, you know, I think this year the graphics of Madden are ten times better than other games. Uh, and we've added so much feature-wise that I don't think we're going to disappoint any of our Madden fans and our Madden buyers. We've got the defensive stuff that we talked about here. We've also got this whole storyline central feature that we're adding onto Franchise, which has kind of made Franchise a living entity. The players have morale, they have a, an emotional state that they follow, and it's being covered by national media, newspapers, local newspapers, national newspaper, and the Tony Bruno radio show, which oh, is yeah. just awesome. It's, good. Cool. it's going to be a cool thing. So, I, you know, I, I don't know. It's, to me, it's the difference between, you know, the, the A product and the B product, and I think you're seeing that in their pricing, too. Right. So. Uh, let's take a look at, uh, this one comes from Chris in Tempe, Arizona. Will there be more CPU trades in franchise mode? Also, will you be able to have custom sections in your stadiums like the Black Hole for the Raiders? You know, with the, the custom sections, let me take that second part first. Um, absolutely, that's the whole point of Creative Fan. You can go in and make those guys as crazy as you want, and those are the guys you're going to see when we cut to the fans in, in awesome. after touchdowns and stuff like that. And the other thing, the CPU trades and franchise, we added that specifically to the draft this year. So you're going to see a lot of tra trading on draft day. So we sat there and watched the NFL draft going, and there's like 20 different trades that day. So we made it, we did that we, with CPU trading, we focused on draft day. That's cool. That's totally cool. They're going to give me some more questions, but in the meantime, um, what else can we take a look at without, because I know, it, and I'll, I'll tell the folks at home, it's like the one thing that, you know, with the live stuff, it's kind of rough is, you know, there's so much to the game that it's hard to, in the time that we have allotted, to go no through problem. and get places, yeah? No problem. Let me, let me come out of practice from, and we'll, we'll jump into a stadium so you can see some of those new, you know, weather effects and lighting effects that we talked about. Excellent. So that, that's cool. No problem. And, and the, other, <laughs> the other thing I'll tell folks at home, thank you and so here much. Come, here come more questions. Uh, oh, yeah. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> Rich from California would like to know how the Patriots are this year. 
Is that Rich from California, or is it <laughs> Rich from our set here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, rich all day long. It's Patriots, Patriots, Patriots. But yeah, seriously, how, let's let's go ahead and how are the Patriots this year? You know, the, the Patriots have won two out of the last three Super Bowls. So I mean, they're going to be awesome. I mean, they they have a heck of a team. They don't have a lot of star players, but they have they have a heck of a team and a heck of a team defense. And I think you know our focus on defense really plays to to, to something like the Patriots do. So I mean, we, we've already put our, our team ratings out there at E3 a little bit, and we had some comments on and people are a little surprised where we have like San Francisco and, and where we have Arizona and things like that. You know, last year people complained about Cleveland and, and what did Cleveland do last year? They went five and eleven. So <laughs> right. you know some of our guys here who do ratings and do you know forecasting and stuff like that, they do a pretty darn good job. Yeah, no yeah no one likes to see that their team is not the greatest in men, but you know I, I you know I'm a Raiders fan so I'll, I know <laughs> yeah, the Raiders, I mean, they're coming back, but it's going to be a tough year, I think. Yeah. How, so are, they, how are they in this year's game? So, they, you know, let's look at the Raiders right here. we got a 77 off overall, a 69 good. offense. They're, they're hurting a little on offense, yeah, yeah. but their defense took a turn up. I mean, they, they got a lot of def defensive linemen this year. you got Ted Washington, Warren Sapp, obviously, a huge right. impact. So uh, I think they're going to be okay. So let's, let's load this up here. While you load that, I'm going to get you another question. Uh, this one comes from Eric Clark. Uh, he is coming from Sterling, Virginia. Question. First, let me say thank you for creating the best football game to ever grace the earth. <laughs> My question is, and you've, you've been on the Madden team for quite a while now, right? I've been either a Madden or NCAA football now for like nine years. Wow. It's crazy. So you are one of the, it's 15 years this year, right? Yeah, yeah. I guess, well, I guess that's the, the point of having the, the collector's edition, right? Yep. Yeah, exactly. The uh, best football game is, uh, my question is, with all the new improvements to your Madden franchise this year, has anything been done about the quarterback dropping back 30 yards and throwing the ball accurately to a receiver? It's been a big gripe of mine for years, and I was just wondering, has this been addressed? You know, it's funny because I, I saw Decast smile and I laugh when, when, <laughs> when he read that question because, you know, uh, Decast is Daniel. He, it's the, the guy we had here playing Madden 2004. And, oh, is that what he's doing uh, over here in this and, game? And he's, he is winning now. I want to point that out. Right on, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, as he should. But the... Uh, that was one of his tricks that he came in, and, and he's one of the guys that we brought in to focus on gameplay and testing and kind of exploits and things like that. So, I, you know, my rule for you is, you know, don't throw off your back foot. Don't throw when you're running around in the backfield. Don't drop back. You're going to get sacked. You're going to throw an inc incomplete or throw a pick. So, so you guys have looked at we it. Work on, yeah, we worked on a lot of stuff this year at, in the game. So you're seeing the, uh, some of the new lighting and some of the, the new stadiums and the players here just through the opening sequence. I mean, you can check out the sky. We're in a, kind of a dusk sunset situation here in Tampa. And, and, you know, this stuff looks great. It does. I mean, and this is, I mean, this is run off a of PS2 regular, you know, full speed. We're not doing anything special, fancy camera tricks for the web here. Right. This is, you know, and, and the game is looking great. So look at, you know, the helmet reflections are something new. The, the arms, the shoulders, the shoulder pads, the lights coming off the stadium, just some great stuff. Hey, yeah. hey Ryan? Yes, sir. We got an update over here. Oh, yeah? yeah Let's see. Do. What do you got? Oh, my goodness, Daniel. 22 to 14, what happened when we turned away? You know, sometimes it takes a good halftime talk to put you in perspective, clear your mind. And so I gave you the good halftime talk? And I thank you for that. Wow. And Daniel, <laughs> as my winner, um, you get, just like in button mashing form, you get a GameSpot <laughs> t-shirt. Congratulations. And we'll give you a copy of the home game. All right. <laughs> Who won, who's, the, who's your MVP of the game? I will have to go with Collins because it, he had a two-yard scramble at the end of the game for a two-point conversion. That Kerry Collins also now with the Raiders, isn't he? Uh, he I, is. Yeah, yeah. All right, there you yeah. go, Ryan. Back to you. <laughs> Did I see an 86 on defense for the Patriots? I'm just going to stop with that. I don't know. I, right. uh, off the top of my head, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> The, uh, I don't know how much time we have. That's I think right. we're actually, are we out of time? We're out of time. Uh, let's do one more question. All right, one, on, more one, more question. question. All right, one more question. <laughs> This comes from Roger Kirk. Location is Jackson, Michigan. Question, has the ability to make situational or package substitutions, such as the mass substitution option in NCAA football, been looked for at for uh, inclusion in Madden 2005? So we didn't do the mass subs because that's, that's really a college thing, I mean, where you kind of throw all the, the freshmen and everybody into the game. But we do have custom package this, packages this year. So you can create your own packages and make them at the play call screen. You know, real easy, real, real piece of cake to do. Right on. So that'll be fun. Excellent. Well, I think that is about the time we have. I think there's a bunch of people that are going to jack me because we've got to get to the airport and fly back home. So <laughs> I'm going to say thank you so much. Take it easy, man. I Travel really safe. It. Oh, thank you very much. We're, we're glad to have you down here. Anytime you want to come down to Tiburon again, we'd love to have you. Oh, super cool. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All the people here, thank you so much for, for coming and letting us do this. I think everybody at home will agree that this has been a, a real big treat for us. Got to see the offices, got to see the games. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to take off. Rich Gallup. Thanks.
<laughs> Becca. David Toole, everybody here. Thanks again. I hope you all enjoyed it. We'll do this again, of course, next week. Check out. We're going to be coming to you live from our studio at, back in San Francisco. Uh, so Thursday, check us out. We'll be taking more questions from you and showing you more stuff. So until next time, have a good one.